and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I have a Poundland and Pound Stretchers haul. I wasn't planning on buying anything, I wasn't planning on filming today, but it's a little impromptu haul because I picked up quite a lot today. I'm very dangerous in these kind of shops. So, I picked up just some regular random stuff as you do when you go into Poundland. But I also picked up some Christmas decorations and that was the main reason I wanted to film this haul because I want to show you the Christmas decorations that I got and I'm not sure if I'm going to film a big Christmas decoration haul this year because I did buy a lot last year. I will probably still pick up some more things but I'll just show you as I go along instead of putting it all together just in case I don't get enough stuff to actually film a haul with. So, I'm going to start with Poundland. So I will go through the random kind of stuff first and then move on to the Christmassy stuff. The first three things I picked up were pens. So I picked up this 20 pack of retractable black pens. Always need black pens. Black is the pen that I like to write with the most instead of blue. I know blue for studying can actually help you remember better but I like black and I will take some of these into work because our pens always go missing. I don't know where they go. So I will take some of these into work. Also for work, I bought a pack of five whiteboard markers. So you've just got the five different colours and I've picked those up because, like our pens, our whiteboard pens always go missing as well. So I've picked these up to take into work tomorrow. Then I picked up a six pack of pastel colour highlighters. I love the pastel highlighters so much better. I actually have four of these already but it's a different pack. I don't have this minty colour and I don't have the purple. So I picked these up because I like the pastel highlighters. Then I picked up some AAA batteries by Kodak. That is what I love the pound shop for. The cheap batteries because, what are they called? The Duracell batteries. They're extortionate. So get myself the wee Kodak ones. They don't last as long but for a pound you can him on. Then I picked up just two packets of paracetamol because we always need paracetamol in the house. Harry takes them like they're going out of fashion when he's got a sore head. But we always run out of paracetamol so I got them. Right, on to sweets and stuff. I picked up a pack of these four noppers. Don't exactly know what they are, they're just like a wafer but they are so good so I picked these up. And then I picked up an 18 pack of the gold Biscuit bars, they're amazing as well, and I think these were actually two pounds instead of one, but can them on for a wee gold bar, they're amazing. Then I picked up these Ryzen dark chocolate chew toffee. My nan loved these when I was a kid growing up, so anytime I see them, I like picking them up because I like them. Um, so yeah, they are they're so good. I don't know if a lot of people have tried them, but they're good. I think they might be quite an old sweet. Okay, on to Christmassy sweets. I wasn't going to pick up any Christmassy sweets because I want to do a Christmas snack taste test. But I've already tasted quite a lot of Christmas stuff. So I'll just have to taste them again when I do the video. So I picked up the Cadbury Mini Snowballs. I think I've tried these before but I picked them up again. I can't remember exactly what they taste like but I got these. And then Sean actually gave me these. It's the Dairy Milk Jingle Bells Hazelnut Cream. And I've seen someone talking about these on YouTube, but I have not tried them yet. So I will be trying these later on. On to the Christmas decorations. And for Poundland, these Christmas decorations are so cute. And there is some things I might need to go back and get. First thing is this cute little gingerbread house ornament. I mean, for the pound shop, for a pound, that's cute. And I'm not normally a big ornament kind of person, but when I seen this, I loved it. And I think Sean bought it as well. So it's just a cute little gingerbread house. And beside the gingerbread house on the shelf, there was actually a little Santa's workshop. I think I might go back and buy that one as well because I think they would just look really cute together. But how cute. Next, I'm going to get covered in glitter, but it's fine. I picked up these two fir trees. I mean, they're made out of like pipe cleaners, but I think they're so cute. One of them is a bit bent, I'll try and fix it. But I think they look so cute and then they've got like the, the fake tree stump at the bottom. So I thought they were so cute. And you could get these in like a silver, a gold, I think there was pink and green. But I went for the white glitter 
Um, I was going to get silver, but I thought the white was a bit nicer. But yeah, two little fur trees. Then sticking with glitter, I'm going to take the tag off. I picked up this little light up globe. Now the glitter is coming off a little bit around the rim because the glue must have not been as good. But inside it's got trees and a little reindeer at the front and then it's got a little light. So it lights up. Yeah, that is what we look like inside. I thought for a pound it's cute. You know, you would pay quite a lot of money for snow globes like this elsewhere so when I seen this I thought it's fine it's cute and the thing is you only use Christmas decorations once a year so the way I'm looking at it I don't want to be buying the most expensive things if I'm only going to be using them once a year. The next two things I've wanted these for so long obviously I wanted the bigger ones but when I've seen these I'm like nah and actually Sean got two as well in the green but we picked up some nutcrackers. I've wanted nutcrackers for so long, but just never got them because the ones in B&M, they're bigger, but they are expensive. So when I've seen these, I'm like, all right. Even though this one's got a bit of a dodgy foot, I never realized that. No, it's fine, and the wee mouth's open. Um, but yeah, for a pound, we nutcrackers, you can't go wrong. You honestly can't. So I've got two of them. I don't know where I will put them. Red is not my colour scheme. I'm more of a silver. Um, but yeah, how cute. How cute are they? And oh, the last thing I actually picked up, I've seen it when I was going out the door. It's a face mask and I got it as a present for my dad. It's just got a skull in the front. He's into that kind of thing. Um, I think he's actually got one similar to that before, like pre-COVID. He had one um, for his motorbike, so I've got him an actual face mask with a skull on it. Um, so yeah. So that is all I got from Poundland. Now I'm going to move on to Pound Stretchers. And the bag I got is so obnoxious. It's bloody huge. Like, <laughs> it's huge. Okay, so, so the first thing I picked up from Pound Stretchers was this lychee drink. And I've never tried lychee before. I've tried it now and it does taste a little bit perfumey, but it looked refreshing after shopping. So I picked this up and this was 129 but I will still drink it, but it's a bit perfumey. My sole reason for going into Pound Stretchers was to buy munchies because I want a wee munch, right? So I did buy a lot of snacks in here. So I picked up two packets of crisps by the brand Oho. I've never heard of this brand before or seen this packaging. So I picked up the natural cheese balls and the ketchup balls. I thought the packaging was quite funky. I've never seen it before, never tried them before. So yeah, picked these up. And these were, these were 89 pence each. Sticking with snacks, I picked up these choco shops and they reminded me of um, kind of buenos. So I picked those up and you get five in the packet and these were, these were a pound. So for a fake kind of bueno, can of grong. And the ones for Aldi are so good. So hopefully these are quite similar. Right, the next thing, I'm quite gutted about this actually. I wouldn't normally pick something like this up, but it was quite intriguing, right? So these are the Good Eye chocolate flavoured sponge cake with coconut cream filling, right? Now, this cake looked black, right? That's why I picked it up, because it looked black, a black cake, right? We came inside. Harry tried one when we got in, and they're brown. So it's false advertising, because this looks black. That was the only reason I bought these. Anyway, how much were these? These were only a pound as well, so I can't really moan, but false advertising. It's brown when you actually open it, and there was no cream in it. Anyway. I then picked up two of these wacky sticks and I just love them, they're like the tube sweets and I got the cool apple and cool raspberry. I love raspberry flavoured things, so these were, these were 95 pence each. The last sweet thing, right, back down memory lane again, so in the pound land I seen rising sweets which my nan used to eat and then in pound stretchers I found cinder toffee. Like, my nan used to eat that all the time. So it was like, walk the memory lane. It's not a lot in a bag, but cinder toffee. 
it's amazing. It doesn't have to get stuck in your teeth though. So how much is this? I think this was one pound for the bag. Right, all my snacks are out of the way now. Thank God. So what else did I pick up? I picked up picked up more batteries. I don't know why I didn't pick up double A batteries in the Poundland, but I picked up double A batteries and these were 2 99 and it's the brand Hyundai. Didn't know they done batteries, but 2 99 Then I picked up a big lint roller. Yeah. We have a pet roller, right? Now, it's not the best. So we use our pet roller for the couch, or we did before we got the couch cover, but we don't have anything for our clothes and we're constantly covered in cat hair. So I picked up a big lint roller, can't go wrong, and it was £2.49. And the last like boring thing, <laughs> I picked up a two pack of orange marigold gloves. And these were 90 pence. Next, I picked up two new Fabulosa disinfectants. I love these. I actually didn't need to buy new ones, but I did anyway. So the first one I got is the rhubarb one. I have the rhubarb all over spray, but I wanted to get the rhubarb disinfectant. So this was $1.49. And then I bought the orange and apricot kitchen cleaner. And I've not actually seen them be specific for like an area. So I got the kitchen cleaner in orange and apricot. Second with Fabulosa, I bought another wild rhubarb all over spray. I already have one but it's running a bit low and it's my favourite scent ever. So I just picked up a new tin of that. And how much was this? This was £2.49. Oh my god, right. I'm really excited about these things actually. I went wax melt daft a wee while ago so I'm fully stocked up on the wax melts. But when I seen these... I just had to buy them. I just had to. Right. So I got three wax melts. I wish I got four because when I got to the till the girl was like, oh do you want another one because they're two for £1.50 or something. But so I picked up three different wax melts. So the first one is Christmas Eve. And they just smell so great. Harry doesn't like any of these kind of scents. So I will probably need to burn them with Harry's at work. But that is fine with me. That is just like cinnamon apple. Oh, it's just such a Christmassy smell. So that is fragrance by Liberty Candles. Um, I've never known pound stretchers to do wax melts, but that's the first one. Then I picked up gingerbread. And obviously this is just gingerbread. Oh, they smell so good. And lastly, I picked up mulled wine. And I'm not a fan of drinking mulled wine, but it smells so nice. So I cannot wait to be burning these. Lastly, I did pick up another Christmas decoration, and it is this big star. And it does light up. I'm not put batteries in it just yet, but there's little fairy lights all around it. And it's quite a big star, actually. And this was 12 99 so it was a bit on the pricey side, but I loved it. I seen it and I was like, I can't stop looking at it, I just want it. So, that is the last thing we have. So that is all I have for this Poundland and Pound Stretchers haul. I hope you enjoyed, I certainly did. I might just start doing little random hauls like this because... I feel like sometimes you're pressured to do a haul that's mainly this or mainly that, whereas I buy loads of random stuff at once and I might just start putting hauls like this up on my channel because it is my channel, I can do what I want and if you don't like it, skip and I will see you in another video. So yeah, rambling over, I hope you enjoyed this little haul and I will see you in my next one.